Hi there, uh, today we are installing Windows 98 second edition on uh, Intel uh, Coffee Lake Refresh hardware. Can we do it? Uh, because uh, the news on the Intel front are not so great. We have to deal with some uh, Windows protection errors and uh, this might be a dead end. But since I'm uh, using slightly newer hardware to run Windows 98, or uh, even uh, Windows 95 or Ryzen 9 3900X like you can uh, see here on this uh, screen capture from my main computer uh, I'm pretty sure we can pull this out uh, with uh, Intel Coffee Lake Refresh so let's set up Windows uh, the first part of the installation always works uh, the problems are coming to us after the first restart First, uh, we should uh, get an insufficient uh, memory message, which ironically is caused by having too much uh, physical RAM. Uh, this can be easily fixed by editing the system.ini file, which resides into Windows directory, and uh, adding this max fizz page equals 20,000 line. If uh, everything is uh, everything else is okay. This should be the only intervention uh, we have to make to install Windows 98. Let's see. Is it enough? Oh no, we get into Windows protection uh, error territory. So let's try something else. Let's patch the SATA drivers using this uh, patch SATA tool. Patch completed. And let's see, now the same error. Now let's try something uh, different. Let's use uh, actual hardware, which is Windows 98 compatible. Let's install this uh, PCI to SATA card and uh, let's hook up the same uh, installation drive. And let's see. And Windows is loading and loading and what do you know? Voila! We are we reach the next level. If we see this user information on screen, uh, we are almost done. I won't show you the whole setup process. I'm pretty sure you are familiar with it. Once we manage to install Windows 98 on a, a new computer very new computer, uh, we run into another problem. There are no unknown devices uh, in the device manager. This is a problem because in this state we cannot install any driver. A solution for this is to manually install the PCI bus. I found this solution by <laughs> troubleshooting for many hours, so uh, I'm pretty happy that I discovered this myself. So to install the PCI bus, we go to system devices. Uh, we go to standard system devices, we click PCI bus and now all the PCI devices will uh, come to life. Uh, we have to install them all and not uh, restart the computer even we are asked to do so. Press no and uh, patiently continue to install the next PCI to PCI bridge, uh, this may take a while. If it happens to have uh, any actual drivers, like for this PCI Ethernet controller, we can use them now. But uh, I prefer to install all the PCI stuff and uh, restart the computer, then install uh, the actual uh, drivers. And well, uh, this is uh, exactly what I did. Uh, I took my time, installed some drivers, and now uh, this uh, Intel Coffee Lake Refresh uh, machine is uh, happily running Windows 98 uh, Second Edition. Uh, is it uh, stable? Well, yes. Uh, once I was done messing with drivers and uh, everything uh, now runs smooth. We can make a uh, CPU test and uh, let's see, this is one take, 5 to 20 minutes of course, 
Well, what do you know? It's way faster than a Pentium 2. Uh, for sound, I'm using a um, Oreal 8810. This is the first edition Oreal Vortex. Uh, I'm using um, on this configuration by the help of a PCI Express to PCI adapter. Here it is. For a video, I went with this uh, ATI X700 PCI Express card. Uh, it's very stable and also very cheap. You can find one for like 10 bucks. It's not bad for a mid range card, uh, Windows 98 compatible. And now let's run some 3D Mark 2K. The footage is uh, 7x speed but uh, it uh, runs uh, perfectly fine on this configuration uh, you can see we get over uh, 400 frames per second in some uh, benchmarks so this 3d mark 2k if i remember correctly was uh, quite sensitive to the cpu speed the later ones were uh, more focused on uh, giving a uh, real uh, more accurate benchmark of the video card itself so i i think this is it uh, thank you for watching um, see you next time